Hi everybody people. Anthony and Daniel, listen. I know, IBF title important to you. Tell it my present to you on September 21. Guys, we are still months away from the anticipated rematch between Oleksandr Usyk and Tyson Fury, but the hype for this match is already high with many pros revealing their picks. Promoter Bob Arum recently commented on the fight. He was ringside during their last match and feels that Tyson Fury should have got the decision in his favor. While speaking to Sky Sports, he said, I thought he won a close fight, but I could see it going the other way, which it did. But Fury, as he goes into training, he's got to fight 12 full rounds. Because I thought the first part of the fight, it was no contest. It was all Fury. Then in the eighth round, Usyk came on and won 8 through 11 and I had Tyson come back and win the 12th. He went on to praise Usyk as well, calling him a very good fighter. Aram had always thought that the fight would be very close. He revealed, we all felt over here at top rank and I was in Riyadh and I also felt it was going to be a very close fight because I've known Usyk since he turned pro and I knew what a good determined fighter he was and I followed him in his career because he's such a good friend of Vasily Lomachenko and they were always around together. Going into the rematch, Aram expects there to be some changes from Fury. He believes that if Tyson properly trains, he should get the win this time. He said, I'd assume there'd be certain changes, but that's up to Tyson and Sugar Hill Stewart, the trainer, who I have great respect for, protege of the great Emmanuel Stewart. I expect certain changes, but what they are and how significant they'll be, I don't know. If Tyson trains well and goes 12 meaningful rounds, he should be able to beat Usyk. Oh my God. Oh my God. The challenger, Tyson Fury, has been on a break, and we haven't heard much from him until his recent interview with Ferocity, where he revealed his thoughts on the last fight. He also stated what he will do differently in the rematch in order to score a victory. He starts the interview by revealing that he has been training five times a week since his last fight. He's also been traveling with his kids and just generally taking his life easy. However, he did have a little incident a few weeks ago where he fell over on his face. I've just been chilling out, really. Uh, probably been training five times a week. Um, what else did I do? I went away in the caravan in with the kids for... Uh, Three days, one place, three days, another. Um, that's about it, really. Just been taking life very simple. I got pissed up about two weeks ago, fell over on my face. Didn't do any damage, though. Still good looking. Fury continued by saying that he hasn't done much else except spending time with his family. Lots of people have been contacting him to make sure he's okay since his incident. He said, yeah, apart from that, I've not been doing much. I've had lots of messages and lots of people phoning me, asking me, am I all right? You won't have a drunken night out and all of a sudden you're going to jump in front of a train. I'm not sure, but obviously from my past history, people are concerned. But yeah, apart from that, I've not been doing much to be fair. Just chilling out, spending time with my dad, my brothers, my wife, my kids. Tyson Fury has been having training camps since September last year, and he barely got a break in between. His match with Usyk got delayed due to his facial injury, which meant that he had to train even more. He explains that after all this training, he needed a break. Three training camps back to back. I had the training camp last September, and then after that, I had about two weeks off. I went straight back into camp for the Usyk fight that didn't happen with the cut. Trained right through Christmas and New Year all the way to early February, and then I had a couple of months off. Not a couple of months off, I'm talking shti. Couple of weeks off, and then straight back into the gym for the fight that just happened in May. So yeah, I've been training for quite a long time. It's good to have a bit of time off. He goes on to explain that his time off is different from other people's, as he is still training even during his break. Well, my time off is different to other people's time off because I'm still training five times a week. Fury also revealed that he has watched the fight with Usyk repeatedly and still feels the same way about the result. However, he doesn't want to complain about something that's already done. He said, I watched the fight back lots of times, still got the same answer. I thought I won the fight, thought I did enough. Usyk knows that he didn't beat me. People's opinions again, and this time the opinions affect big time. Close enough, you know, one of the judges had me winning by around one. I didn't win, winning by round, and that was the final decision, so it was what it was. I could sit here and make excuses and say, oh, this, that, the other, be upset about it and whatever. But I believe, always believe, there's no good in crying over spilled milk. It's done. Now it's in the past, and I believe everything happens for a reason. Fury then did a breakdown of the whole fight, explaining which rounds he gave to Usyk. According to him, he dominated the fight, and Usyk won only four of the rounds. He said, I thought I boxed his head right off him for most of the rounds. Obviously, he had landed a good punch in round eight and busted my nose. At round nine, he had a 10-8 round, so that's two, and I gave him round 10 before, but other than that, I didn't give him any other rounds. I give round eight, round nine, round 10, but round nine classes as two, so two, three, four, I give him four rounds in the fight. Tyson concludes that in order to win the rematch, he will have to knock out Oleksandr Usyk. He doesn't expect to win by a judge's decision this time. It will be challenging for him, but he seems confident in his ability. Tyson stated, I need to take him out because I shall not secure victory by a judge's decision. It's very unfortunate because it's already quite challenging to simply win a fight, let alone by knockout, but I am confident and eagerly anticipate this bout. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. The Usyk fight, a lot easier. Tyson says his biggest problem in the fight 
may have been that he was having too much fun. It felt very easy for him, and he even compares fighting against Usyk to fighting with a local amateur boxer. He finishes by telling Usyk to get better in time for the match in December. My problem in that fight, I probably had too much fun. It was probably too easy. At times, it was too easy. It was like I was in there with a local amateur boxer, um, and I was just enjoying it too much and messing around, and you paid the ultimate price in round nine, where I got a 10-8 round and got clipped, and that, that's what happens when you have too much fun. Yeah, and they always tell me, never mix your work with having fun. And I've always given them the middle finger and it's come back now on it to me. So what are all the pros in the boxing world saying about this fight? Who do they expect to win the rematch? Let's hear from some of the experts. Former world champion in the welterweight division, Amir Khan, made an interesting prediction. The famous boxer believes that Tyson Fury will do much better this time as he will be an underdog. Amir said, Tyson Fury will do a more clinical job in winning the fight in the rematch. I think he will go back to the game plan and he will fix himself up. He's the underdog now and he has to go in and prove he's the champion. And I really believe he will. He has it in him. That gypsy blood, they're tough. English former professional boxer Spencer Oliver also made his honest prediction while speaking with Boxing Social. He is first asked whether he thinks the rematch will even happen, as there are still some people who doubt it. Oliver says that it definitely will happen as Fury needs to cement his legacy. He's already won all the titles, but he needs to be known as one of the best heavyweights of all time, and for that, he needs to get his win back against Usyk. Yeah, I think the fight happens, definitely. I think the fight happens. I think that Fury will want to cement that legacy. That's what he's all about now. He's won all the bells. All right, he didn't win the Undisputed, and he probably won't get the chance to box for Undisputed again if, there, if, the, if he does make it to December 21st. It's not about that for him. I think it's about like modern eras, legacies, being known as one of the best heavyweights of all time. And to do that, he's got to go back and try and right the wrong of the last contest. He has to try and, you know, get the rematch and, and turn turn the result around. When asked if Fury could win, Oliver responded, yes, of course he can. He's got the attributes to be able to do that. You know he's got the boxing IQ. I think he may have underestimated Oleksandr Usyk and his strength, actually. And you know, not just his boxing ability, but Usyk took the fight straight to him, and I think that took Fury by surprise. It took him four or five rounds to get into the fight, and that probably cost him the fight. He's got the ability to do it. It's always going to be hard for him. Usyk proven now with the bigger guys as well. Boxer Joey Knight did a breakdown of the upcoming fight on his podcast. He believes that in order for Fury to win the fight, he will have to knock out Usyk. He feels that the best time to do this would be early on in the match. He said, if Tyson Fury wants to move forward with his career as a champion, he needs to accept, in my opinion, that you're not going to win this fight on points. So, if you're going to conquer your quest for redemption and therefore cement your legacy, you need a stoppage. And when is the best time to get this stoppage? For me, it's early on. He then went on to explain why Fury has has to win the fight early. He describes that the main advantage Usyk has is his cardio, which is superior to almost any fighter he goes up against. Usyk will want to prolong the fight so he can tire out Fury. If Fury wants to win, he has to take more risks than he has ever done before, which can put him in a vulnerable position. Go for it. Then in an ideal world for Usyk, by the time you do go for it, your energy levels are already fast diminishing, meaning that if he can ride through the storm in the middle rounds as he did against Tyson Fury, he can then look to take over the fight again. So therefore, my conclusion is that Fury is going to have to take more risks in this fight than he has ever took in a fight before. Risks that in taking, by the way, you fully understand will probably put you in a vulnerable position. Recently, it has been revealed that the rematch between Usyk Fury could have some major rule changes. WBC President Mauricio Sulaiman wants instant replay to be used during the fight. The WBC has used instant replay to review controversial actions in boxing since 2008. However, several sanctioning bodies and boxing authorities don't make use of it. While speaking with TalkSport, Sulaiman said video replay is a rule that the WBC has had for the last few years, but it is a complicated situation with the British Boxing Board of Control as they do not accept its use. However, during the rules meetings of the last fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, we demanded that the video replay be used for the WBC's sake. We will be pushing for it in the Usyk Fury rematch and every fight we are involved in. While the other boxing boards do not agree to use it, Suleiman says that if there is strong evidence for a major controversy, then corrections could be made to the decision using the replay. He said the Middle East Professional Boxing Commission was the local authority and the British Boxing Board of Control had a lot of influence over them, so they were claiming not to have it. But in the end, the WBC made it clear that if there was absolute evidence of a major controversy, then we would reserve the right to make our own decision using the big screen and correct the ruling. For the WBC, it was in place, but not for the others. We want it to be recognized by everyone involved with proper protocol and a proper system. This isn't the only radical change that the WBC has pushed for. The board also wants there to be six judges instead of three in the rematch between Fury and Usyk. They pushed for this before the first match as well, 
well, but it faced a lot of backlash from rival parties. Suleiman said, I will campaign for the WBC fights to those who are eligible, and we are going to start doing it. It came down to the other organizations and the promoters not supporting the idea, so we will do it as usual in the WBC fights. We have done a few in Mexico, and will continue doing so in WBC fights, and we will monitor it and see how things go. Suleiman explained how the close result in the last fight shows why there needs to be more judges. The decisions were almost evenly split and could have gone either way. It was a very close fight. It came down to the 11th round, and it was scored in favor of Alexander Usyk by two judges, one of them in Mike Fitzgerald, and Mike Metcalf, Craig Metcalf, scored it in favor of Tyson Fury. So, if Metcalf scored it for Usyk rather than Fury, it would have been a unanimous decision for Usyk. If Fitzgerald had scored it to Fury, then he would have won the fight, so the rounds were very close. That one in particular. A huge left hand at the end of the round by Usyk was a statement. Due to the subjective nature of scoring, there can be controversies regarding the decisions. Suleiman wants to avoid any such situation. He said, scoring is subjective. It's a complicated task, but I believe a split decision win for Usyk is more than fair and acceptable. Our position is to always have the best possibilities to avoid a controversy, and that's why we wanted six judges. To end this video, here's a clip that Tyson Fury shared recently of himself training. Even during his break, he hasn't completely slacked off and is determined in his goal to get a win over Usyk. <laughs> Hey guys, Tyson Fury here. Back in the gym, as you can see. Counting down the days until I can get my redemption on Usyk. December the 21st is going to be my time. I've done everything in boxing, but I ain't come back from a loss. And I relish it, the chance to come back and redeem myself. Get up, December the 21st is all me. From the beauty, here we come. Hey! That's it for today's video. Do you agree with the new rules that WBC is pushing for? Who do you think will win the rematch, Usyk or Fury? Let us know in the comments. If you like our channel, make sure to check out some of the other videos on the screen right now.